Hello friends, welcome to PySpark video tutorials. In this video, I am going to give you a few advanced interview questions related to PySpark. And there you can expect a few frequently interview questions related to data validations part. How we will do data validations and how we will identify bad data or how we will reject bad data, how, how we will store bad data. So these kind of scenarios based interview questions you can expect. Let's understand the process, PySpark process, then available options to identify bad records or to reject bad records. So here when we are reading any CSV file or maybe JSON file when you are primarily talking about file system. So file system whenever we are reading data, the Spark API is having a mode called data read mode. So the data read mode, there are three different types of options are available. Those are permissive, drop malform and fail fast. And if you're not using this, especially this option while reading, if you're not using the default mode is permissive mode. Okay, the default mode is permissive mode. When you're reading JSON file, when you're reading JSON file, by default, it creates underscore corrupt underscore record column. If the JSON data is having any corrupt records. But if you are reading CSV file and if you want to identify and if you want to move the data into a particular column or particular location, so we can use these options. We can use these options. Permissive means allowing. So identifying the bad records and allowing to process the data. That is permissive drop malform so drop malform is another option just it will remove invalid data remove invalid data and primarily related to data types and special characters and when you are using a separator so if it is fall in different separator that will for all data fall in bad records so those data will be removed dynamically and only valid data will be processed and there is another option called fail fast. Fail fast means if you specify this option, exception will be raised and your program will be stopped. So these three options are available based on your requirement you can use. For example, we will use permissive mode. Then I want to track all invalid data or you can say bad data. Then later, first I will process valid data. Then later my jobs will continue with the processing valid data invalid data i will move to some other table or some other location then later i can verify as daily support process so i have created one csv file so this csv file is having some invalid data then as i told you we can use a permissive mode so permissive is a mode where it will allow the data it will allow the data if any invalid data it will allow look at this this is an invalid record invalid record means these two records having different separator i'm using default default means separator will be csv when you are reading csv file separator will be comma if you are not specifying if you are specifying the default will be comma so then the remaining records the remaining records which uh, total seven records five records are comma delimiter remaining two records are tab delimiter intentionally have specified that okay so if you have any queries like how data is available in this we can read as it is so we can read as it is we can use text format so display spark dot read dot text where we can read as it is so as it is it will display the data how exactly this file contains so this file if you look at this header is available comma delimiter and the data also comma delimiter you can see but if you look at the last two records the delimiter is different okay it is not comma so that's why whenever you use whenever you use permissive so permissive means it will consider the data it will consider the data then if i use drop malformed if i use 
drop mal formed. So if I use this option, what will happen? Invalid data, it will remove. It won't store anywhere, just it will remove that. Means it will ignore the data, invalid data. Only valid data it is considered. Only valid data. It may be due to data type mismatch. It may be due to different separator. Okay. Uh, maybe sometimes you will get a separator in customer data or maybe address field or any other data field but st still it will fall into number of columns will differ right so those data we will call it as bad data so bad data will be ignored indirectly it will remove that that is drop malform fail fast fail fast so this option whenever you are reading file if file is having invalid data or you can say bad data so it will raise exception and it will stop the program you can see that error while reading a file so that file you can see the file name so normally we should not use fail past why because your entire day-to-day -day operation jobs will get stopped so instead of that what we can do we can ignore bad data we can process valid data at least the jobs will get continued and we can move this invalid data into some other place means using one of the option called column name of corrupt record so column name of corrupt record which we can specify so that we can specify with the PySpark schema so in this table or you can see in this csv file these many fields are available it's a channel table and channel id channel description and i created one extra column called corrupt record so while reading in permissive mode in permissive mode we need to specify one option called column name of corrupt record and that column name and that data will be moved to that new column so if you look at this example so i've selected only that column you can we will use a display you will get more clarity on that see goal so there you can see corrupt record and invalid data will be there bad data and valid data will be null so you can filter so if you're looking for valid data this column so this column means you can go with the filter so filter where corrupt underscore record column is null so is null means which is valid data so valid data so five records valid data so is not null so is not null means only you will get bad data so bad data means two records the two records are bad data you can identify this okay so this option is available we can use that but when you are retrieving this when you are retrieving this data frame or whatever data frame it should be in cache okay so for example if it is not in in memory if it is not cached i will do unpersist okay then so if if you're not cached this data frame just i unpersisted then i'm trying to fetch the column see it is throwing error this column does not exist so it is verifying in this file it is saying it is not available okay so to avoid this exception what we can do we can cache the data frame then after processing we can uncache so unpersist unpersist then we'll cache the data frame so you will get a data now you can see this so whenever we are trying to fetch this column this column is not coming from source we are adding this column based on bad data so using this option so for that reason we need to store into in memory cache then we can fetch this so later if you don't need this column then you can remove this column using a drop option drop 
underscore corrupt underscore record later if you're not required this if you're not using okay first fetch the data and store into some other data frame then store into some table then drop this then you can fetch the data so this way we can go with using this so using this so now finally that column is not available so that column is not available then you can remove that data and you can apply the filter condition we can achieve using this option we can store this data you can store into some other table or some other location so that a bad data will be there and while storing you can use this filter condition this is one way where we can achieve this and the drop malform as i told you just blindly it will ignore the data blindly it will ignore the data then fail fast it will raise the exception and there is another option so primarily we can use a data brick sign it is having a better option than previous so previous we use this option which is a column name of corrupt record right so in this you cannot identify exact root cause so it is not giving any error messages see here identifying is very difficult so now i understood that because because of different delimiter it is falling but if you're not giving any exact error message it is very difficult to identify that so whenever you are using this option whenever you are using this option column name of corrupt record what will happen it won't give any exact error message just it will give the bad data but if you are looking for exact error message and file name with location file name with location we can go with another option called bad records path so bad records path is another option where it will identify the bad data and it will create one folder timestamp folder then it will load the data in json format json format it will create let's understand this so i'm giving some bad data okay just i'm using bad records path option and i'm giving some temporary location where it will create one folder and it will store the data or we can use the same option we can use same option which i have mentioned here here okay so bad records path so the bad records path whatever bad records two records are there it should create so i'm going to create one folder channel channels is the folder under that it should create one folder where it should contain rejected records now you can see valid data it is fetching but the rejected records would should be available in this folder let's go to this folder just now it's created you can verify percentage of ls and the channels directory you should have a timestamp based and bad records folder inside that you can find a json file inside that you can find like this timestamp based folder then bad records path bad underscore records folder it will create then under this folder you can find file so this is the file just read using json okay spark.read.json there you can find the two records one is a path okay path and the path file name with the location a reason here you can find malform csv record and the record the entire data you can find okay so there's another option which we can follow bad records path so bad records path which we can use this option and you can create one external table on top of this then you can query the data so you can query you can create external json type table and anyway timestamp based will be there and under that anyway you can find the path so the path you can find the table name or particular table process so this way where we can identify the bad records so one method is using this modes permissive is default drop mall form fail fast so permissive which you can go with the corrupt record column or removing drop mall form or 
we can go to bad records path okay so fail fast it will raise the exception so bad record pass whenever you are using bad records path we should not use mode okay we should not use mode so that's the available options where we can use this option for data validation purpose identifying the bad data then we can utilize and we can process the data in databricks using PySpark. and there are a few more interview questions related to uh, data point of view the partitions and files i will create another video so i have prepared a few questions with answers so i will create another video on top of this if you like this video please subscribe my channel 